After Effects CS6 introduced real 3D geometry to After Effects and now layers can be bent and extruded and this opens up a whole new way of animating in After Effects. Now, certain layers can be bent, certain layers can be extruded and we're going to start by having a look at bending layers. So what I want you to do is open up Bending Layers AEP from the Introduction to 3D folder. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the timeline, you'll see I have this little nested composition. If I double click that to open it, you'll see it opens it in a separate composition. And here I have this little animated shape layer comp that I've done. And that's brought into the other comp as a nested comp. And I can use my mini flowchart to jump back to that comp. Now, instantly with mini flowchart, you can just tap the shift key and it opens it up and then you can jump back to where you want to go see the structure of your comps. So I'm gonna to go to 2 3D start and in here, we're gonna just pull the time marker back so we can see our scene. Okay, at the moment, if we change this view, so select this view, change it to custom view one, so you can see we've got all these 2D layers in a 3D environment. And if I open that shape background layer, you'll notice we have transform properties for it, as you would expect. And we have material options so that we can control how lights react with the layers. So we've got two property groups down in the timeline. Now, if we were to go up here to our renderer menu and change it from classic 3D to ray trace 3D, we get a whole load of new options appearing down in the timeline. So if you click OK, notice that we now have geometry options. And if I open up my geometry options, I can actually curve that layer and create a much more panoramic kind of scene just by curving the layer. So let's give it about 80% of a curve. Now at the moment, it's only using four segments, but if we want that to be a bit more detailed, we can put that up to 10 and then we get a much smoother curve. So we're starting to create a kind of curved scene where this is forming the backdrop of our scene. So that's one option that you can do with um, geometry. You can curve layers. Now just be aware that if we open up a shape layer, we don't have the same options. In geometry options, we have extrusion options, but no bending options. So quick time movies can be bent. OK, if we open up our geometry options, we have curvature options, but no extrusion options for QuickTime movies. Same goes for nested compositions. Now, if you wanted to bend a shape, you could pre-compose it and bend it that way. OK, so that's a little bit of a workaround for it. But just be aware that different types of footage give you different options. If we select our solid layer and have a look at that, you'll notice it has curvature options, but no extrusion options. And the way to think about it is anything that's kind of vector-based, like shapes or text, can be extruded. Anything that's more pixel-based, like video or bitmaps, can be bent. So that's the way that bending works in After Effects CS6.